Now, what are food delivery apps? Food delivery apps are basically, as you know, if you sign up on these applications, that means that other people can find your restaurant and order food from you at the comfort of their own home. And basically, when you finish your order, a driver will come and pick up your order and deliver it to your customer. Food delivery apps that are popular nowadays are Uber Eats, Skip the da Dishes, DoorDash, and these are companies that can help deliver your food. And because of COVID, food delivery apps has exponentially grown in their popularity amongst all neighborhoods. Now, why is it important for us to understand how and what food delivery apps are? Because food delivery apps can help with your logistics, with your delivery and reaching your customers, whether you're selling something on your uh, Instagram or whether you have a ghost kitchen or whether you have a restaurant, you can always utilize food delivery apps. Now, if within your city, food delivery apps only work with picking up with virtual kitchens, then you're out of luck. However, a lot of different countries and cities would also pick up from home offices. And that's the reason why seeing food delivery apps as a logistical partner is also very important. They also act as a great marketing tool because I'm not sure if you know, food delivery apps, they spend billions of dollars marketing, giving out free money, giving out percentages off, just so then that way they can have people on their platform and to spend on their platform. And this is a really great marketing tool to get more volume and more people to come and order from you. Now, there are four criteria when it comes to selecting food delivery apps. First up is the popularity. Within each city, they have different popular food apps out there. In Vancouver, our most popular apps are Uber Eats and DoorDash. So in your city, it might be Grubhub, it might be Postmates, it could be very different apps that are popular within your city. So choose the ones that are popular within your city. Commission charge, never ever go for the lowest commission rate only because oftentimes with lower commission, that means that either the user experience on their app is a little bit off, their driver is a little bit less responsive, takes a little bit longer to deliver. They might be more expensive on the customer side, which gives them a bad experience. And overall, the whole experience is not as good. And all in all, when your experience is not that great, then it really compensates for the low commission that they charge. And in turn, you're going to lose up on different customers that might be buying from you. So the third one, current promotions. When you are selecting the food apps, look at the current promotions because a lot of them are running a lot of great promotions out there and always ask and always negotiate. What advantage do you get with signing up with these different apps? So definitely ask for that. And lastly, once again, what is the user experience like? Is it easy to implement in your systems and your business? And is it easy for your customers to use from their point of view. So understanding all these criteria will allow you to choose the right food delivery app as a partner. Next up are the three pro tips. What are the pro tips? That means that when you sign up with these food delivery apps, what you can do is increase your menu pricing depending on the different apps, okay? Some apps allow you to have a separate menu specifically for delivery apps and something that's something that I would highly recommend because that offsets the 20 to 30% high cost that they charge. Next up, maximizing your exposure. And that's the reason why I highly recommend you to sign up with the top three food apps within your city, because when you go exclusive with one, you're losing out on different customer base within other different platforms. However, if you only want to sign up with one and to be exclusive with one food app, you can also do that. But in return, negotiate for better rates, higher ranking within your listing. So when people search for, for example, fried chicken, yours would first would pop up first. Ultimately, it is a numbers game. If you can get more sales signing up with just one delivery app, then definitely go for that. But if you're not gonna guarantee that, then sign up for multiple different apps. I've seen it work with either exclusive or multiple apps as well, depending on your specific food brand. Next up, new feature is something called the Uber Connect. What is that? That means it allows you to deliver a prepackage to someone else. So if you're selling meal kits, you can actually use something called the Uber Connect. This is a very new feature that you can definitely explore. Nonetheless, these are the tips that you should go and ask, actually look for and the criterias that you will consider when choosing and onboarding 
your food delivery app for your food business. Now that you understand how to do that, go reach out, sign up with the three different local food delivery apps of yours. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.